What's up? My name is Shaney. I'm Jess. And we're both fighters and trainers, and today we're here to review some bags. From the female's perspective, we constantly hear it from the guys, what's the best freestanding bag on the market? And we've got three popular bags here today that we're gonna test out, and we're gonna give you our perspective as women. Let's do it. So the first bag that we have up, this is called the Rorola. This is actually one of the top sellers on Amazon. It has a really fairly low price point. It's under 200 bucks. Uh, we're gonna put this one to the test first, just looking at it. I mean, what do you think? What do you think about this bag, Jess? What I find interesting about this bag is that, first of all, when we did assemble it, it was a pretty easy assembly. It took like under 40-ish minutes. And it has these suction cups, which I find really interesting. Obviously, they don't work on whatever type of mat we have, and we've put them on other surfaces, and they don't seem to work really well. I actually thought that was kind of a cool feature. Yeah. But I just... That I just don't think they work. Good idea, doesn't execute well. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you wanna do the first honors? I mean, sure, why not? Let's see, let's get over here. I'm just gonna start with hitting it. Hmm, it's kind of funky, kind of weird. Um, you know, I do honestly, personally, I like that it's, it's kind of hard. I do like a firmer bag, but I do know just from training hundreds of clients over the past 10 years that some women aren't really into the super firm bags, especially when you get to kicking them, because it takes a while to like break in your shins. You can be bruised for your first few weeks or yeah. even a couple months of training. I personally like that because it conditions your shins, but if you're not looking to punch and kick people, I, do you really need to have your shins conditioned like that? Kick it? No, yeah, let's go, kick okay, it over. Let's kick it. <laughs> hey, ooh, oh, careful. Okay. Oh, shoot, hold on. Oh, well, I and mean, you're not even kicking hard right I'm now. I'm not kicking like uh, hard. So yeah. if you do have like any force behind your kicks, that's my only hesitation about this bag. I mean, it's kind of wobbly. It's really wobbly. Yeah. It's really thin and narrow too, which is going to give you a lot yeah. smaller of a target. So you have to be a lot more precise when you're trying to hit a smaller target. Um, I think one more thing that I would say about this bag, obviously the price point's great. I think that um, the idea that they were trying to do with the suction cups, you know, great theory. Mm -hmm. And I do like that it's a little bit of a tougher bag, but I don't like that you can't utilize leg kicks. There's like this gap right here. And yeah. if you miss and kick here, whoo -hoo, bye you're bye. gonna be out for a while. So I don't know. I think it's, you know, it's a decent bag. It's not one that I would choose. Yeah, you wouldn't use this. I definitely, this isn't a bag that I would wanna use personally. Um, I mean, maybe I'd put one of my younger kids on it, but then again, this right here, that's, yeah. that's not good for the kids either. So yeah. I'm gonna give this one a Okay, we have the second bag up. This is called the Decathlon. Uh, the base is also filled with sand. It honestly wasn't that hard to fill it up. We did it pretty quickly. Like less than 20 minutes. Yeah, and um, then you fill this with air. I would think the cool part about it being filled with air is that for storage, Maybe I don't want this up all the time. I can deflate it, go shove it That's in a, a closet point. somewhere. Yeah. It's pretty light. Well, it's really light. So it's easy <laughs> to move around. Uh, I, you want to do the honors? <laughs> okay, ready? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I think kicks might be out of the, okay. That's that's funky. <laughs> that's funky. It looks kind of fun. It's kind of like a double end bag. Yeah, it moves. You, you Let's really, see. You give I it think shot. it would be cool kind of to try to like get, whoa, I'm getting everywhere. Maybe to like work on your timing and stuff, but obviously I'm not gonna be practicing Woo! any power punches or kicks in here. I think that something that I like about this bag is that it is, it is something that's great, maybe for just like those slight techniques. For example, with a push kick, it does come back. You're yeah. able to execute a full push through with yeah. proper technique. But if I put any power on this, I'm like, you can't actually get a proper workout out of this. It's fun, yeah. but. It's, it's fun, it's a little silly. I would put like my four or five year old on it. I think that they would have a whole bunch of fun with it. Um, the, the aspect that it, you know, goes back and forth. You can kind of work on your timing a little bit. Yeah. Don't do any power punches on here. I would say like you might hyperextend your elbow. You can just shadow for box sure. for that. Um, this had a low price point. Yeah, it's like $99. Yeah, which is pretty cool, but would I use it? for a toddler or four-year-old. Yeah, if you're, if you're like very, very new and you're like, you're just trying, like you're just learning ones and twos and 
like maybe that would be a good use for this. And like she said, for like maybe like a small child. Yeah. But if you're really trying to get a good resistance filled workout, then this might not be the bag for you. Yeah, this one, the I would say, nope. All right, we have bag number three. This is the Fight Camp bag. So my least favorite thing about this bag, which kind of turns out to be a positive in the long run, is that it does take a while to assemble. Yeah. You need to get a few hundred pounds of sand to fill the base. All the bases, like I said, are filled with sand. This one takes the most, and it is the heaviest. Yeah. But it's not going anywhere. You can punch it, you can kick it. We even had Mike Tyson do a test. He wasn't punching it over. So, yeah. I mean, the negative, it turns into the positive. And the good thing is that once you set it up, it's set. You don't have to keep doing it ever again. And something as well that I like about our at this specific bag is the bag ring, which is actually made for this bag. It's gonna stop it as well from moving. And you don't want a bag that moves because if it moves too much while you're hitting it and everything, you're not gonna be able to get ac accurate with your strikes and you're also not gonna be able to get the proper workout that you want because you're more concerned about is it making noise mm -hmm. or is it over there in my living room? You know what I mean? There's just too many factors to think yeah. about. And it is a little bit difficult to move, but there is a way to move it. There's a cheat code. Jess is actually gonna demonstrate that for us. Okay. This is how you move the fight cam back. Jess, how tall are you? I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 118 pounds. Okay, let's see Jess move this bag. Okay, ready? Here's the technique. So, you want to get a nice little running start. Pull Ooh. down. Look at that. That was, e this is like 300 pounds of sand in here. And then, you roll it and stand by. And then, you roll it. Hey, you have to use finesse. Jess with the finesse. Jess with Give the it up finesse. Jess. And we'll get it back into our spot. All right, so I'm gonna show you my favorite part, why I love the fight camp bag the best, and it's because you can hit it and kick it as hard as you can, and it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, here we go. These other bags are in my way. Nice. I mean, it hasn't, like, it hasn't budged. All right, let me feel it. Let's go, Jess. I love that it's a full surface. Watch this. I can go low, medium, high. Woo! I love that. And I also really genuinely love the texture, like the feel of this bag. It's smooth. Yeah, that's another thing is it's aesthetically pleasing. I know a lot of people don't have room or they don't have a home gym. This kind of goes with any decor in your living room. Yeah. If you like white, I mean, you know. Um, and it's like, really easy to clean and wipe down. I do like how tall it is too. Right? It's more realistic for, sure. for a taller person. Now this one's short. Also, another thing I like, like I said, when I strike this with my shins or when I punch this with my fists, sometimes when you hit like heavy hanging bags, like I said, if you're not looking to fight, you don't need to condition your shins. So I like this specifically for like a workout perspective. And then also if you just want to get some rounds in while you're at home, for extra work or if you are preparing for a fight as well. I, I like it, it's easy, it's portable and that's something that's convenient. Yeah, it is soft, so it's going to be a lot softer on your joints than a lot of the super heavy bags, which is good because you're gonna be taking less impact. And like Jess said, your shins, if you're not trying to condition your shins and bruise them up, if you're not gonna be kicking people, I mean, this is the way to go. Yeah, and it's like, there's a little bit of give, but there's not too much. It's not like the decathlon bag where it's like, <laughs> it's like, okay, nice. Just a little bit to soften the blows. I like it. I like it. Should we rate these bags? All right. First, second, and third place? Yeah. Starting from, let's do third place. Third place winner. I just wouldn't buy this bag. I mm. Genuinely, I actually would buy this bag over this bag. I, I would too, yeah. yeah. The Rarola, it's not, not the best. This is third place. I this give this one place. a second. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Um, I mean, it would be cooler for a kid, but if I, I mean, had to choose really between the two, done, yeah. I'd choose that one. That's our second place. And the first place winner is our Fight Camp bag. Love this bag. I mean, I've, I've had mine for five years at my house and it's been kicked and punched by myself, all my mm -hmm. kids, my fiance, who's a Muay Thai and MMA world champion. He's a lot bigger than me and our bag looks just as good as it did when we got it on I, day one. I definitely <laughs> think this is the number one freestanding bag on the market. 
and we actually want to know what you think. We want to know what bags have you tried? What bags do you want us to continue to try? I think we should do some more reviews. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let us know. Type it in the comments box. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you later. We'll see you in the next one. Mwah!